Hear ye, hear ye, all you trail hippies and heathens. It's your boy Vanilla Gorilla. We're back on trail. This time, straddling the fence between North Carolina and Tennessee. And per the norm, there's the trudge up ahead. We're just getting on. We're right around Davenport Gap, making our way towards Hot Springs. Plan is to take it nice and slow. We got a big climb first thing this morning. Four and a half miles, so nothing but up. So nice and easy, nice and slow. And we'll see what the day brings us. Let's get on with it. What's up, heathens? Another grill in the trudge on our pilgrimage once again. So we're about 2.2 miles up. Give it a look around. So far we've gone up about a thousand foot plus maybe an elevation. Maybe a little more than a thousand feet up. And the bear count is already at three. Some people go hunting all the time and can't find a fucking bear and we find three of them in an hour. Uh, first two is a mama and her cub. They run off. The third one we came across three piles of shit in the trail, and then pff, right there, big old area full of uh, acorns. Pretty good sized bear, we're, we're guessing it was a male <clears throat> by himself. And he was tearing up this whole hillside. He was just feeding all, all the acorns there, and he was not about to leave. He was not scared of us one bit. Didn't give a shit. He did go up the hill about 20 yards and stood there by a tree and stared at us, but that was all he was willing to do. So, all that hay bear shit, don't work. Not when they're trying to eat. So, that was about a mile back. But, uh, we got another two and a half, eh, three miles. We got a good three miles before we get to the top of this thing. It'll be about 4,200 foot plus at Snowbird Peak. So, we just stopped for water here. This is called Painter's Branch. There's a nice little spring down there so we're about to hit the trail again check in a little higher up the mountain gorilla out the tunnel and we are above 32 3300 feet about another thousand foot of elevation gain to go and we'll be at the top of Snowbird. All right, folks, we have reached the top of Snowbird Peak. What you're looking at is an FAA tower that uh, pilots can use to get a bearing from. And we'll try to show you the views. It was a long climb up, and we did see three bears, and here's the view back towards the Smoky Mountain National Park. So that'd be back towards the south, west, south, it's all about the same. And. This is the view headed north, heading out in that direction, and there's a trudge. Eating lunch, chilling out, stretching, and we only got another two and a half for the day. Check in a little bit later, grill out. All right, folks. Trail hippies and heathens. Vanilla grill in the trudge, just finishing lunch. Hitting the trail. And this is Snowbird Mountain. Go across to Bald here for a little ways. And it should be about two and a half, 2.6 miles of downhill. And should put us at our shelter. So we'll be there nice and early. 
We're not pushing hard today. We're just going to do seven point something the first day. Do some stretching, camping, and relaxing. We'll bring you out a little later. Folks, we are going down, down, down. Which is pretty typical on the AT. Takes you all the way to the top of a mountain. Just to go on the other side and go all the way back down. So that you have a nice climb to do right afterwards. But we are less than a mile from the Groundhog Creek Shelter or whatever they call that. So, plenty early. It's only three in the afternoon. So I like to get into camp early, set up camp, and relax, stretch muscles, that kind of stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll bring you back out when we get to camp. All right, trail hippies. I'm gonna show you what home looks like for the night. So officially this is Groundhog Creek Shelter. But we're going to use the tent spot, so I got my Z Packs duplex here. Troj has got an REI one man tent. We're all set up. Got my air mat, sleeping bag, and all my gear in there. We got sweaty clothes I'm trying to dry them out. I doubt that'll happen. And I'll walk you down to the shelter. Now, and gut hooks it tells you the shelter slopes to the middle and I'll show you why that's correct. The water source is back behind me. A little stream. Good flow. There's the Taj Mahal privy. There's a composting privy. We have some bear cables down here where we will hang our food bags and ditty bags and anything with odors. And there's another creature dwelling in the uh, shelter tonight. When we first got here, we found a snake hanging out. And he was up here in the rafters. Haven't seen him since, but anyway, here's why they say that the uh, slope, the shelter slopes to the middle. You can kind of see that. Looks like it needs some work. And that's the trail back out to the AT. That's home for the night. About to eat some dinner. Check all you hippies in the morning. Well, good morning, heathens. A nice, cloudy, partly sunny morning. We're packed up and hitting the trail. Uneventful night sleeping. Didn't sleep very well. Uh, most of the problem with sleeping when hiking is when you go to bed too early like as soon as the sun goes down I end up waking up several times during the night and then by 3 or 4 in the morning I'm awake and I'd rather not be up and moving until it's daylight but either way it's going to be a good day we're doing the goal is 8.2 we should be hitting max patch in about six miles. <clears throat> it's all pretty much all uphill to there. So it's five and a half miles with no water. So I'm kind of loaded up heavy. I've got three liters of water on me. So hopefully that lightens up as we go. Uh, and shout out to the three guys that were camping here last night, this morning we were talking. There's an older fellow and his two sons. And we were talking about our wives, and my wife just had a surgery. And they asked if they could pray for her, which I thought was very nice and very cool. So, if those guys have a great hike. We're going to get on up the trail. Pull you out in a bit. 
All right, and if you're wondering what the climb up out of here looks like, it's almost, it's pretty steep. And we got a long up to do. Camera never does it justice, but we're turtle pacing. More later. What's up folks? I have not done a lot of recording today because today has been kicking my butt. But I'm not quite to the top yet, but let's give you a little preview. I am still climbing to the peak of Max Patch. It's absolutely beautiful but man we're earning this one pull you back out at the top all right folks we're at the top of max patch There it is. Morning, heathens. Trudging. No door. About quarter to eight. Almost 8 a.m. We're up and moving. Already eight. Took care of all our morning duties. Getting water. And heading north. See what the day brings us. Check you out later. What's up, folks? Admittedly, I have not been filming very much on this hike. And I'll tell you why. Because I screwed up and did not really study this terrain the way I should have. Long story short, there's a lot more climbing than I had prepared or anticipated for on this trip. And for anybody that wants to know, the section here between Davenport Gap and Hot Springs, to me, it seems every bit as tough as Georgia. And uh, honestly looks exactly like Georgia, with all the laurel and green tunnels and the way the AT likes to go all the way to the top, only to drop all the way back down to the bottom. But that being said, we're in the middle of day three. We just came over the top of Bluff Mountain, which according to the maps and everything is the last big climb. And it's 10 miles downhill, almost 100% downhill, with the exception of one little short 100 to 200 foot climb into Hot Springs, where the cold beer is awaiting. And we can't get to that soon enough, man. But, this is a, you want to challenge yourself, this is a good way to do it. Holy cow. Man, these skinny dudes, man, are running up and down these mountains. It's a little different for us 280-something pounders. I pretty much made up my mind. I am going to switch to a hammock soon. Because the biggest problem I have with sleeping in the woods is I'm usually exhausted and as soon as it gets dark everybody starts running for their tent. The problem with that is you end up laying in your tent for like 12 hours. It's just too much laying down. You wake up with a sore back. So I'm going to switch to a hammock, see if that doesn't alleviate some of that. That and last night, when we, by the time we got to the shelter, there was no such thing as a uh, flat tent spot left. 
there's a college group that was in there. We were near Max Patch, so they were base camping there and then hiking up to Max Patch back and forth for sunrise and sunset. Basically took up all the tent pads. So at least the hammock, I won't have to worry about flat ground. Just need two trees. Anyway, we got 10 miles of down. No idea how much of it we'll do today. We'll just keep going until we find a place for water and a place to put a tent. Should push into town tomorrow. All right, pull you all out later. What's up, heathens? Update from the trail. We are done for the day. D-U-N done. We did, we were planning on doing 8.7. Um, we ended up doing ten and a half. We're coming down the backside of Bluff Mountain, which, if you were coming from Hot Springs up, Bluff Mountain would be a ten mile climb. Going the direction we did, so we got a ten mile decline, with the exception of get to the bottom of this gap and we got about four or five hundred foot up and then it's, the rest of it's down into hot springs but we were done it was starting to rain so we stopped we found a finally found a place coming down like an old logging road <clears throat> or it was flat our uh, our tents are around the corner out that way we're trying to get a fire started it, uh, you know, we're about a week, week or two after Hurricane Florence came, kind of brushed up against the mountains here. Um, so everything is wet. It's almost impossible to get anything to light off. But we're trying. So it'd be nice to have a little campfire tonight. Everything we have is soaked with sweat clothes-wise. So we're looking forward to, we have seven miles into town tomorrow. We're looking forward to it. It's just a face of exhaustion, that's all. Uh, but we're having a blast, man. It's, it's been three good, tough days of, of backpacking. And every time you go, you realize you're carrying too much crap. But uh, it's been beautiful, challenging. So we got seven more to do tomorrow. We are... Uh, cook some dinner here soon and that'll be that for day three. Gorilla out!